I'll tell you this, um, one of the guys upstairs, when I went up to the booth, told, was telling me how, I was talking about Joe doing comedy, and he said, oh yeah, I said, Joe and John approached the JJ, and they said they wanted to do a special show where they do comedy on the stage, and they show their films. Kind of a special night of films God, and comedy. That's a great idea. They should. At the loft. They need to have a, a Teller benefit. Teller Lavoy presents. Helps so us buy a new bicycle. I'm sort of curious. Into our show. I'm sort of curious about that because I mean, if they if it's just going to be them, that's fine. But if they just want people that do stand up and have films, you qualify. I qualify. You know, there's a lot of people. I need to make a film. We need we need to make a new film. We have some ideas. The problem is every time I start getting started on an idea, I get another bigger, more urgent idea. Oh my gosh, no. It's like, no, first I have to make four foot tall Valentine. That's really important. <laughs> it's going to change my life. You want to hear something weird? Yeah. My mom's neighbor has a pink jumping castle in her backyard. And I said, Mom, why does she have a jumping castle in her backyard? She goes, I don't know. It's been there for weeks. You can buy them. I mean, they're not. They sell slightly smaller versions. It's a small one. Yeah, for people to own. And like small enough that you can put them in a big house. These but if she already owns one and I borrow can borrow it, it, then that means that the film has to be people now. Yeah, I can't which is how we started. But I don't want to have to trust people. Should we share our idea? You can tell the idea if you want. Sometimes you know, there's the concept that if you share your ideas, then they you don't make them because you just share them with people. Yeah. It's like the writer's nightmare. Right. Totally. That's not true because I don't buy any of the superstitious I have non -tell. storyboard stuff. <laughs> that means I have to do it. Do you want to tell it? Do you want me to tell it? You can tell it. So the idea is based on On a song? <laughs> no, it's based on Bridget's life. Where there were, and tell me if I'm I'm made some of this up. Go but where there was a year that she, her birthday was coming up and there was a birthday party planned, but her grandfather mm -hmm. died just like right before, and so it kind of put a crimp in the whole festivities. Yeah, the funeral was on my birthday. The funeral was on her birthday. So we, we, we just took that one step further and said, what if, to save money, the family actually had the wake and the birthday party together? So that's the idea where it's inside. It starts out where there's like a semicircular driveway in front of a house. And there's like a big clown van or a clown. And then like this big hearse comes up. And it's confusing. No. Was it that or there was a uh, hearse? I, I didn't remember it starting there. There was a hearse and then the, the clown van pulls up and it's confusing. So the clown goes to the door like, what's going on? And there's all these little kids looking in the windows, and there's this, there's this. Um, I wanted to use Claire's house for this because she has the perfect like Window three, seat. three windows and like the perfect little place to put a table. So there's like a dead body on this long table, but then you see these other shots of the same exact table in the same exact setting where there's the food, you know, like all the food that you have out for a wake, you know, with little signs on everything. This is what it is. You know, like in sad hands. And so the body's there, the curtains are all mostly drawn, it's Everything's very dark exactly inside. Everything's exactly the same except for what's on the table. And they, maybe there's one window that you can kind of see through, and outside you see little kids, and, they, and they're and they all dressed like mm. in suits, like for a funeral. I'm they're, sorry. Oh, yeah, they're, all, they're all dressed up like little 1950s paper doll cutouts. But they have, cap, um, you know, uh, birthday caps, little pointy caps. And, uh, but they're very somber. They're out there, and there's a birthday cake. But there's three there's tables. Jumping there. so the, the, there's the table of presents, the table of food, and the table of the body. That's really important. Yeah, three tables all kind of side by side or near no, each other. No, they're the same table in the same set and the same thing. And there's three different shots, and, and it's, it's kind of like a spinning. Like, 
it, it pans down and then it picks up again and pans down and then it picks up again and pans down so that it looks like you're almost like going around in a circle. But it's the same, it's actually everything is exactly the same except for what's on the table and like that's what's different. But so you, the camera goes across the table like that and then when it gets to the end it really picks up again at the beginning. So it looks like three tables but it's all one, it's, it's all happening, the, the food, the death, and the presence are all happening at the same exact time is the point of that. Sorry. That's a no, go ahead. Part. So, sorry, you wanted to tell the story and I started. No, no, I asked you if you wanted to tell it. You, you can. I'm going with the whole collaborative storytelling thing. Yeah, I'm so then what happens, is Mike? There's a lot of uh, murmuring, not any real dialogue, but I'll have my hands in my hands. Uh, hush talking. And uh, maybe you can hear something, so I'm coming up to the little girl and saying, Happy birthday. <laughs> kind of like that. And card, you know, and something for the funeral, whatever. A covered dish. So there's a lot of just combo. And the little girl looks kind of very sad. And the kid, like I said, the kids are just m moving around outside, but they're not really playing. I mean, there are things set up for them to play with, and they're like half-heartedly playing, maybe. Like mm -hmm. there's, there's, m maybe there's, you know, I don't know, ring toss. Yeah, and you see the slow inflation of the of the jumping castle. Jumping castle being like blown up. When you see like a, the circus raising the big tent, it's just like different phases of it, and then it just like comes out, like it just grows. Very jerky, yeah. And uh, we might be making that out of bubble gum. And Got they, and everything that the, the kids are all looking very guilty. Like, are we supposed to? Jump. Are we supposed to play? Uh, looking around at each other, like it's not again no necessarily dialogue necessary. Awkward tension leads to adult fighting. And the awkward tension, the adults are fi are having an argument, a heated discussion. You see it all in they, silhouette through the window. They leave the room where the body is to go have a discussion, out of respect for the body or whatever. You see the silhouettes of the bodies moving across the room. And the little girl, or the birthday child, is left in the room with the body. Some they, other kids come up to her, too. Uh, and I think maybe the discussion is between the, the clown. Oh, and the clown, he's like... What was the clown doing? He was making balloon crosses. Balloon crosses. <laughs> Which we were trying to figure out appropriate. Why do you have to change that? Because uh, I wanted to hide one balloon onk amongst the crosses, but I don't want to do that anymore. It's making me laugh. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. It's supposed to be funny. But um, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Nobody's he laughing yet. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah, he's maybe he's bombing. Doing, he's, he's he's kind he's of tough worried crowd. and doing <laughs> his tough room. But he's worried while he's doing his shtick, and so that's ruining it. And the kids are do we laugh? <laughs> it's a real you know, tough they're room. Anyways, <laughs> so at some point that's happening outside with all the kids. The, the clowns. The adults are in this other room with a huge heated discussion about something, and I think it has to do with paying the clown. <laughs> this dish is. Dish is being carried, and you hear. And a little girl's sound. left alone in the room with the grandpa's body. And some other kids come up to her. And these other kids come up, and and she whispers in their ears. We go back to the parents. Their argument is getting very heated. The and kids then they quit, hear, look to the adults, and then look back in a suspicious way. The, back to the adults, and then they then they hear, and I think the discussion actually the argument is about this was a bad idea, for the. For the kids' sake, you know, blah what is blah blah. They're not having know? fun. Maybe there's some words here. They're not not having inappropriate. fun. Inappropriate. Uh, inappropriate. You hear some words here and there, and then but then we hear l laughter and children having a f having oh fun my God, outside. You, again, you totally skipped over the most important part again. <laughs> then, Don't do please, it. What is it? Please. So we see the dead body of the grandpa, right? We see the um. You cut me off right at the punchline. Right. Yeah, well, that's the end, and that's. I know. Go ahead. We see the body lifting up, and we see the body moving, and what it is is it's the kids picking up the body and moving him, but you don't actually really see the kids. I mean, maybe you see like little hands on the clothes and stuff, but you see like different close-ups. You see 
his feet moving, and, you know, with like the background moving underneath it. You see his chest with like his tie, just like this like square plane of, of like his heart basically. And then you see his head and he's dead. And you, you can see that he's being moved somewhere. You can see like grass, you know, like underneath mm -hmm. moving. It's very close. Yeah. yeah, super close up. And it's all like black and white, like sepia tones. And then the only color that you really get in the whole thing is like the pink. But um, then you see the pink. Uh, you, you, I think uh, that the way you described it, I might almost give it away, but uh, they hear the voices of the children screaming, having a good time, they come out. And the children are all in the jumping castle, jumping in grandpa's bodies in the jumping mm -hmm. castle, jumping up and down. But he's just all stiff and rigor mortis, like, <laughs> going around. Yeah, I think, I think them having them carry him there, though, is going to give away the punchline. But I don't see it as a punchline, though. Okay, all. well, you're going to be the art director, and you're going to make all those decisions. So it's fine. I think I don't think it's a punchline. I think it's it's because it's a film. It's the end of the story. Yeah, it's the it's the end. So the end of the story is. If when I make films, this, they have punchlines. Is this long stroke of the brush, which well, is the it's the part where it's okay to laugh. And then the putting him in the jumping. I just don't want people. It's gonna be I, here's what I don't want. I don't want people to say, "Oh, Grandpa's going to be in the jumping castle." Uh -huh. While it's happening, I want them to be, I want them to get it all at once. Well, then you don't show the jumping castle through the whole movie. Jumping castle only shows up at the very end. No. See, I think jumping castle at the very end. If jumping castle is the moral of the story, which it is, then jumping castle needs to be isolated. At the end of but the you, story. you can't have it be part of the narrative is the jumping castle is being inflated. I really, really want to animate that. Yeah. I don't want there to suddenly be a pink. You have to do the whole thing in I would do, context. I would also do the whole thing in color. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Separating the it out. If you see the tone and then do only one thing, then it obviously adds more focus to the uh, jumping castle. Yeah, well we could do it. We could do the whole thing but in color, but I don't want there to be a lot of bright colors. No, uh, inside it should be very somber. It would be in color, be really but very dark. somber, very dark, but there will be colors. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want them to be realistic looking color. You know, I want it to be like old. Do you edit? 